women are beautiful no shit right so it's like then you put yeah put that together and you're like how about two women together in a painting double the beauty like from like a gay perspective too yes. like not yes. from the male gaze which is something that I've yes. really honed in on because I'd learn in art history about yes we've been painted for since antiquity for years and years and all we would learn about are were male artists creating paintings of women and never I mean we learned about a couple like Frida and a couple I mean like a couple others like Hannah Wilkie there's specific ones that we would learn about but it would predominantly be you know from men and that also lit something in me where I'm like no like the Mm -hmm. sapphics know best like that's yes my biased (laughs) opinion but we notice the little nuances and we notice the subtle things that I feel like men just don't pick up on in my work either so it's you know it's so funny because I don't know if this is just me and I well I don't know you'd have to tell me Ellie I uh did you come out in college Haley or was it after college so it was like my junior year of college like I told my friends and my close family but then I just told everyone like in 2020 I graduated in 2018 so it was like right okay. after okay so because what I'm wondering is like I feel like for me my experience and I feel like it's it's not like it can't happen afterwards but I feel like it was especially prominent in college right is that I feel like college years as a lesbian like you would meet dudes and dudes would be like oh common ground like we both love girls right and (sighs) and you're like it's not untrue sure like yes we are both attracted (laughs) yeah Yeah. (laughs) we are both attracted to women but it's also like it just it really highlighted so clearly sometimes that I'm like we are both attracted to women but like in such really different ways right like it's just mm-hmm. they would say I things that example. they'd be like you Please. this will be a <laughs> shared from today thing. actually oh today? good I'm, oh god I'm so excited but it's I, like they would just say things yeah. where they'd be like this is a shared thing and I'd be like mm, it is not really actually do you know what I mean? Like, yes, uh, what's, I do. What's, give <laughs> yes, us your today what, yes, example. Please, we need to I'm so, yeah. So for example, I had a video, a reel that went viral literally yesterday. Like it has half a million views on Instagram. And it was a video of me talking about the male gaze and saying that I mostly learned about art through the male gaze in art history. That's basically what the video was. And it was to a Mrs. Incredible sound. Like it was just like a fun little sound video. Mm-hmm. And I was not expecting it to do that. And I want engagement, but not in this way. So they pushed the video to all these men, like probably very far right. And I was getting all these comments this morning that were like, just men are stronger. Like we could crush. I had one that said like, we, I could crush you with my two hands. Um, This is why men are superior. And you, but then on the flip side, it was like, um, like they, I had people that were supporting me, of course, like women in the comments, but men just saying, you're doing the same thing. You're just painting naked women. And I'm like, you're totally missing what the, the point of it is. There's a difference between exploiting and sexualizing and objectifying versus like taking power over empowering and creating them as subjects with feelings and full, full, um, as full souls like and like personalities and like, thoughts like, and goals yeah and, and it was yeah. just an entire day like I turned off comments oh, for yeah. everybody on that because I was just like I can't take this in all day all these it was like every ten, every five to ten minutes there'd be like three more just random men commenting so yeah there well, is a it's difference like, it's it, it's like when we uh Ellie and I have been talking a lot lately about um because we still have like a presence on Facebook that we don't really do anything with, but it's yeah. just like, you know, you, everything you post on Instagram cross posts. We just like shit. Yeah. We just share on Facebook, yeah, whatever. And it's like, yeah. and we get so many comments from like old angry boomer men on there no. who, who will look at a picture and like, just by virtue of having like <sighs> the association of lesbians anywhere around it, 
right? Yeah. Like who just look at things and are like, <laughs> strap on or like, or, or we had one where it was this guy who like posted something and he was like, oh, it was something about like, oh, like Ugh. the smell of, the like, smell of fish. fish or something. And we were like, sir, like Stop. my man, if, if when you think about women, that's what you think of. Yeah. Like, I'm not no. sure we are in the same realm the same. of attraction we're to women anymore. Oh, like, no. God, but yeah. No, I had a showing in Maryland, um, just like of my work. I opened my studio for the night and I had men walk in. This is when I know this is in person when they're oh, reacting yeah. to just my work on, I mean, these big, large scale figurative paintings of women together on the wall and like Taylor Swift during her vigilante performance with her, like mm-hmm. just the, the chair performance. And they just looked and I could just feel it. Like I could feel it in my body. I'm like, I don't want them looking at my work. Like I could, I just... I know yeah. they're gonna sexualize it or they're gonna uh I don't know I don't notice until it's like in person or then I get comments like that because I honestly forget that they exist, exist. I 